Now, no fewer than 30 political parties in Adamawa State are advocating the entrenchment of internal democracy to allow popular candidates emerge for elective posts in the 2023 general elections. The coalition met in Yola, the state capital, where they commended the stance taken by a former gubernatorial aspirant who has remained at the fore of the struggle for internal democracy in PDP since the inception of the Fourth Republic. Will I be adenusi compiled this report? The road to 2023 may be unclear. Some may also think that it is shaping up nicely. For others, it will not be business as usual for the governing party and even the opposition. In Adama State, the agitation for the basics of democracy begins with the way in which the party's internal dynamics are aligned in tandem with the principles of fairness, respect for the constitution and more. One man has remained in the vanguard of keeping a keen eye on these very principles that party officials overlook, internal democracy. That we call for this press conference is to appreciate and pay tribute to one politician and an academician who perceptively understood this problem and has been fighting doggedly to solve it in his political party. And this individual is none but Dr. Umar al Ahead of 2023 general elections, the political landscape in Adamawa is eating up with politicians across various many ideologies moving back to drawing blood, strategizing, horse trading and consolidating positions. For some, this is a perfect time to plot or outsmart one another. Interestingly, major political parties are yet to conduct congresses to usher in new executives from ward to state level. The chairman of 30 political parties who formed an alliance with the ruling PDP to produce the incumbent Governor Amadou Fintiri in the last general election met and the purpose. For years, Dr. Ardo says he has continued to fight the dark forces in defense of a principle. The process had been long, exasperating and expensive. Since I've been going to court, not once did I ever get uh, favorable judgment but that does not that haven't deterred me from going to court members of the group have used this meeting to rate the performances of the pdp government in the state and the government has reacted administration uh, human relation because the, the governor is becoming like a demigod that people don't assess him if you as a political party you support you support somebody to win election we expect that person to perform what His Excellency is performing. On his part, Dr. Ardo believes that PDP is on track and sees the return of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar into the party for as a bonus. The current party leadership, uh, Prince Uche Secondus, nobody has the capacity to do what he uh, can do. Is there a leadership vacuum in the state? Will Governor Amadou Fintiri wade in to resolve the power wrangling among party members before the state congress? Dr. Ardo is in court challenging the legitimacy of the party state working committee. Only time will tell.